Hello there, welcome to another video in this business planning series. This is your ultimate guide to creating a business plan. If you've joined the series here, then please go back and watch from the beginning. These videos are created in a very specific order on purpose. So please go back and watch from the beginning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create projected profit and loss statements. A profit and loss statement simply shows the profitability or loss that a business or company is making. And to do that, we simply have the sales minus the expenses of the company equals profit or loss. So to create a profit and loss statement, you need to know sales information and expenses information. If you've been watching this series from the beginning, then you'll have a sales forecast and an expenses forecast. So we can use the information from those templates to create a profit and loss statement. Now, if you're very clever, and if you want a very detailed projected profit and loss statement, you can also include depreciation and finance costs in your projected profit and loss statement. And I'll show you how to do that in this video also. So this is the Excel file. This is the cash flow forecast that I created in the previous video. I have also created a liabilities forecast, assets forecast, sales forecast, expenses forecast. They're all three year forecasts and they've all been covered in previous videos. So I'm now on sheet seven. So we're getting near the end of this business planning series because we only have two sheets left, one sheet left after this video. I'm going to rename sheet seven and call it profit and loss. You can call it whatever you like, projected P&L or P&L, whatever makes sense to you. Now in A8, I'm going to put the business name. I'm not going to type business name though. I'm going to type the bookkeeping master because that's what I've done in previous videos. And I'm going to make that bold and underline. And underneath, I'm going to put projected profit and loss statement year one. You can put P&L, profit and loss, projected income statement, whatever makes sense to you. Now, going down to 13, I'm going to type sales. So that's A13. A15, I'm going to type cost of sales. A17. I will type projected gross profit, A19 expenses, A21 depreciation and finance costs, and then A23 projected net profit. Now the title and the title of the template matches everything that's been done so far through so this underlined the bookkeeping master the bookkeeping master and then the the name of the document underneath all looks good i'm going to make projected gross profit bold and i'm going to make projected net profit bold and underline that because these are the two figures that we really want to make stand out in this statement now in D11, so going over here, I'm going to put a currency symbol and I'm also going to highlight that column and center it. Now put a pound symbol, you can put euros, yen, dollars, whatever currency you'll be using. Now this is the basic template of a profit and loss statement. So we have sales minus cost of sales gives us gross profit and then minus expenses, depreciation finance costs gives us net profit or projected net profit. If you wanted yours to be more simplified than this, you could simply do sales minus expenses equals projected net profit. Cost of sales is generally for companies and businesses providing products, selling products, but not always. Obviously, if you have some sort of accounting background, it will help when creating this profit and loss statement. So what are we going to do? This is year one. We're simply just going to click equals in D13 and bring the sales figure over for year one 
from our sales forecast. So down the bottom here in our sales forecast, we have a total for year one. I'm going to click on that and click enter. And then expenses, I'm going to click equals, go to the expenses, go to year one total and expenses, and click enter. Now depreciation and finance costs, we'll do equals. Depreciation is on the asset forecast, so let's go there. So year one depreciation is here. Let's click on that and click enter. Now what we can do now is click at the end of this formula, click the addition or plus sign, go to liabilities to get our finance expenses, the interest charge here. Now if you're totally lost, it could be that you haven't been watching this series from the beginning, so please go back and do that. If you are feeling a bit overwhelmed, then just re-watch this video. You, you can even slow it down on YouTube. You can pause it just so that you follow along. So we have our sales brought over from our sales forecast, our expenses brought over from our expenses forecast, and our depreciation and finance costs brought over from our asset and liability forecasts. Now, what is our projected gross profit? Well, it equals sales. So the sales figure minus the cost of sales figure. So that gives us our projected gross profit. Now our gross profit for this business, the bookkeeper master, is the same as sales because there are no costs of sales. Once again, if you have some sort of accounting background, you can edit this slightly so you, you can include a cost of sales figure. So what is our net profit? We're simply going to equal our gross profit minus our expenses minus our depreciation and finance costs. That gives us our projected net profit. It's as easy as that. What we can do with this projected net profit is we can put a border above and below just so that figure shows out a bit more. And we can also create a little section down here called notes. And we can make some notes about the projected profit and loss statement down here, just like so. And that's it, pretty easy. So if we just copy this, so I'm gonna highlight the whole lot, right click and click copy. I'll go to F8 and paste. I'll then go to K8 and paste. We can change the title to year two change the title to year three and then we just need to adjust these formulas slightly so the sales for year two are going to be sales for year two on the sales forecast not year one year two sales for year three are going to be the sales total for year three and then cost of sales we'll leave that this should be fine yeah and that looks fine too the expenses is going to be expenses total for year two, expenses total for year three, depreciation and finance costs, so equals depreciation for year two plus interest for year two equals depreciation for year three plus interest charges for year three. And there we have it, our three-year projected profit and loss statements. And once again, they are printer-friendly. If I just change the layout, I think I've done this in every video where I haven't changed the layout from portrait to landscape. So let's have another look now. Okay, so it's nicely centered. It's printer-friendly projected profit and loss statements for year one, year two, and year three. So the last sheet on this template is going to be for the projected balance sheets. There'll then be a video on the written side of the business plan, and then we will have finished this series. If you've made it this far, a big congratulations to you. Well done for making it this far. This content is all for free. You can watch it on YouTube or on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com.